Learn Inc. for engineering courses. In this video, we are going to learn about total internal reflection, which is a part of fiber optics and engineering physics. Objectives Introduction to fiber optics, total internal reflection, propagation mechanism, structure of an optical fiber. Optical fibers are widely used in fiber optic communications which permits transmission over longer distances and at higher bandwidths that is data rates than other forms of communication. The basic structure of an optical fiber consists of three parts the core, the cladding and the coating or buffer that is primary, secondary and outer. Core The core is a cylindrical rod of dielectric material made up of glass. Light propagates mainly along the core of the fiber. Cladding the cladding layer is made of a dielectric material with a refractive index lower than core. Thus, refractive index of core is greater than the refractive index of cladding. Primary buffer, secondary buffer, outer coating. The buffer coating prevents the optical fiber from scattering losses caused by micro bends. In this video, we are going to see about propagation mechanism of total internal reflection. Total internal reflection occurs when light crosses an interface from a medium with a high index of refraction to a medium with a lesser index of refraction. We will take an example of a laser passing from glass into air, that is from more denser to low denser medium, then the light is refracted or bent towards the normal. Laser passes the critical angle and total internal reflection occurs. The critical angle is the angle of incident in an optical denser medium for which the angle of refraction is 90 degrees. Total internal reflection is used in computer and telephone communications. If you currently have a broadband connection, it is functioning using total internal reflection in conjunction with optic fiber cables. In this video, we are going to study about total internal reflection. Light waves have three primarily properties that reflects total internal reflection. These are reflection, refraction and Refractive Index We will see a light ray has propagates straight through two different mediums. The speed of the light ray changes depending on the medium through which passes. Medium A and Medium B each have different refractive index designated by a lower case N. Medium B with slower moving light ray has a higher refractive index than Medium A. For example, water has a higher refractive index than air. A ray propagating through water will travel a slower speed than air. The boundary or interface between two medium where refraction and reflection will occur. Refraction is depending of the light ray, it passes from one medium to the next. If the second medium prevents light from passing through the interface, reflection occurs. Two facts must be considered. Determine the degree of refraction or reflection. The angle of light wave straights the interface. Refractive of index, the one medium relation to the other. Snell's law is used to determine the angle of refraction between two mediums. Imaginary line is perpendicular to the interface. This line referred to as normal. A light ray is traveling straight into the new medium for long the normal. It changes speed but not change direction. However, 
when light gets certain angle it change in light it change in light speed and it cross the beam to change direction slightly and propagate to the second medium or different angle the angle of which light hits interface is referred to as the angle of incidence the angle which light propagates to the new medium is called the angle of refraction by placing the non values in the snell's formula the degree of refraction can be determined Snell's law states the refractive index of the second medium is greater than first but the angle of refraction is smaller than the angle of incidence conversely the refractive index of the second medium is smaller than first and the angle of refraction is greater than the angle of incidence this is the principle that neighbor like to travel fiber optic stand could have higher refractive index than the surrounding cladding the light ray from the core will increase in speed in cladding which has lower refractive index notice if the angle of incidence become greater the angle of refraction approach the boundary or interface if the angle of incidence is such refract light ray travel long boundary between core and cladding it is known as critical angle If the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle the light will be reflected with no refraction this is what known as total internal reflection For more engineering physics videos subscribe learn ing youtube channel and follow us on all social media